There have been rumours that Doria Ragland was arrested and imprisoned for four to five years for tax evasion concerning a travel agency business that she ran. Speculators say that it explains her absence from Megan's life during a large part of her childhood. According to Tom Bauer, Doria was absent from Megan's childhood from the age of 5 to 18. Now it's reported that Tom will update his book Revenge to include the mystery surrounding Doria's missing years. When asked why he wrote Revenge, he said, I choose people who don't want to be written about on a whole and whose lives are shrouded in mystery, and they've climbed the greasy pole. They want to be famous, they want to be influential, they want to be powerful, but they also want to hide their secrets, and I just love digging away to find out. When Megan came along to the scene, I just thought, this is fascinating, how is this one going to play out? The fact that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's decision to not sue Tom Bauer speaks volumes. Royal expert Neil Sean said, People who've often wondered why Harry and Meghan decided never to get legal with the celebrated authors Tom Bauer and Valentine Lowe. After all, they've published books themselves this year which have been particularly damaging to the brand of Harry and Meghan. When you look at the list of things, the claims that particularly Tom Bauer came up with, it was sort of eye-watering and everyone felt at this point it's not going to be very easy for Meghan or Harry to plough ahead. According to a good source, the reason why Meghan and Harry have decided against taking litigation, particularly against Mr Bauer, which has the biggest selling book, was because he wasn't difficult or damaging towards their children. The fact that Bauer didn't endear too deeply into the background stories of the children, then they apparently felt that it wasn't necessarily worth going much deeper. This follows a warning by Mr Bauer himself, who earlier made the admission, I don't mind if they sue, as long as they lose. At the time, he also added, I think that Megan, if she sues, she won't want to appear in court being cross-examined by my lawyer, so it's best if she doesn't sue me. Tom Bauer expressed his belief that the couple planned to return to California soon after the wedding. He adds that the controversial sit-down chat with Oprah Winfrey and the multi-million pound deals with Netflix and Spotify were all part of the plan from early on. He said, They keep complaining about media intrusion and yet keep opening themselves up to it. I think it's for the money. The whole point is they think they should be paid by the media for reporting on them. They want money for interviews and appearances. They feel that they should be profiting from their royal celebrity status. Previously, they weren't paid. Tom Bauer previously revealed his personal views on Meghan during an appearance on Good Morning Britain. After hearing several similar stories from his sources, Bauer told the hosts, Overall, I came across with the impression of a woman who's very intelligent, very determined and very ambitious, but also ruthless, and in the end, in her terms, successful. The reader will have to make up their minds about whether she's good or bad. Bauer also explained that some people he spoke with told him quite negative stories. He explained, There were two agents who told horrible stories about her bullying and her oppression, And that was eye-opening. 